Buy that tool forward. Buy that tool forward. There you go, bud. There you go. Believe it or not, it's almost time for skiing and snowboarding at Mount Brighton. Epic, baby. Epic, baby. <laughs> And a group of outdoor enthusiasts believes outdoor recreation should be available to pretty much most everyone. Yeah, we work with uh, people with cognitive disabilities as well as uh, physical disabilities. So maybe somebody with a spinal cord injury or uh, spina bifida, cerebral palsy. Jim Munson is the co-founder of Mount Brighton Adaptive Sports. The Mount Brighton Adaptive Sports program assists children and adults with disabilities to take part in outdoor recreation, like skiing and snowboarding, even scuba diving, through scholarships, lessons, and with assistance to purchase adaptive equipment. What Mount Brighton Adapted Sports is looking at is any kind of lifetime activities that you can do and maybe have to use some adaptations to pursue those activities. All right, so this one's on. Quite a bit of equipment here at, at Mount Brighton that we've been able to accumulate through grants and uh, private donations and purchases. Um, but we've got, this is a, a bi-ski. So, so one of the things that's kind of neat with all of the different types of abilities and disabilities that are out there, uh, we've got different types of equipment that we can adapt to make it so that they can access the hill. Um, so this is a bi-ski. So this would be some, for somebody that maybe has a, a higher level disability, uh, quadriplegia or limited hand functions. We can get them in there and with some instruction, uh, be able to do as much as they're possibly able to do, but then have some assistance through the instructor in the back to keep them up on the hill. Typically a private individual lesson for each person that comes with, that has a disability. Good, good job. You know, actually the first time was really emotional for me. All right, buddy, look out, keep your heads up. Head up, there you go. Adam saw skiing and snowboarding on TV, and he'd always say, oh, I want to do that, I want to try that. Good. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Nice job, head up, head up, head up. And then to see him going down the hill on skis, and you know, he didn't seem anxious, he was having fun, he didn't fall, I was really proud, and it's inspiring, actually. There's like nothing he can do, so it was emotional for me, quite honestly. Nice job. Last year, the Mountain Brighton Adaptive Sports Program gave about 60 lessons for skiing and snowboarding. Whoa! And I got wow! It. Woo! That was so fun! This year, they hope to give 100. It's rewarding. It really is rewarding to see the smiles spread out. Nice job. Okay, let's keep going. I'm looking for the next person. I mean, I, I, I know that once somebody starts to get in and get involved with it, they're going to stay involved, and now we need to get more people involved. So it's stuff like this hopefully we can let people see that these opportunities are available and, and get them out here on the hill. The Mountain Brighton Adaptive Sports Program is holding a fundraiser to help continue their efforts Friday October 13th at Captain Joe's in Whitmore Lake. Tom Jordan, CBSDetroit.com.